Hi, my name's Anna, and this is my sister, Laura. And we're here to connect with somebody that we lost. We've never met Lisa before. She doesn't know anything about us, and we're hoping that she will bring insight to some issues that we have and um, give us some peace. Coming in. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa. Hi, I'm Anna. Anna? I'm Walt. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Come and take a seat. So how are you feeling? Anxious. Anxious? Nervous. Apprehensive. Excited. So I always work with a personal item. So do you have a personal item? Yep, two. Okay, fabulous. Okay, excellent. I also have to ask, do you want to know everything? Yes. Yep. Yes. Did somebody give you this? Does that make any sense to you? Did she? Right, you gave it to her. Yeah. She keeps telling, this person keeps saying, this was given to yeah, you. Yeah, it was. This was given to you. Thank you. Okay, she keeps referring to the fact that she had a hard personality. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't always the easiest person to get on with. No. <laughs> Sorry to put it that way. But she's saying I was a lot easier than before she passed. My mother used to tell that to me all the time. She used to say, Anna, I know that I'm, I'm hard and I'm hard to deal with. And so that, right up, right from the get-go, I, I knew it was my mother. And she's, she's saying she has to thank you for an awful lot of things. You were always there. Does that make sense? Okay, okay. I've just heard I wasn't always fair. She has to apologize to one of them, one of you, for the way she treated you. Okay? And she's she's saying that she treated you badly and she didn't realize this. She's saying to me that she almost put a wedge between the two of you. Yeah, she did. Our mother was diagnosed with dementia. Toward the end of my mother's life, um, my mother was getting us confused, and so, you know, she primarily monopolized my sister's time and only wanted to be with my sister. She said it was unfair. So unfair. And she's saying, and I'm so sorry that I caused the hurt. We were not we mad at her. She's saying, please forgive me. And she's saying, and I love you both equally. When I heard that my mother said that she loved us both equally, I knew that, but I knew that Laura needed to hear that. As a mother, I know how, what she's talking about, that you've got two kids. You love them equally the same. The love is not different, but you may act different with one or the other because of personalities. You know, so I understood where she was coming from. But I needed to hear it. I needed to hear her come through and say that. She's saying, thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for both of you speaking to me. Is your father... Is it your father? Is your father passed? I've got a father figure coming in here. Your mum could be quite grumpy towards your father. Yeah. The only way I can explain it is... Um, She's just said, your father's here, and I'm like, okay. And she's not happy about this. She's not happy about this. Our parents did not have a good relationship. There was always a lot of conflict and tension in the home. Your mum's here, but I feel your father's coming in from this angle. To me, he doesn't feel like he's a bad energy. To me, he doesn't, he's not doing me anything to dislike him, okay? To me. Mm -hmm. But he's just standing there. But to your mum, it's like <sighs> nostrils flaring, steam out of her ears. She's like, <sighs> mm -hmm. and she's adamant that he can't go near you two. Yeah. I mean, if he goes near you, he'll ki she'll kill him. The way my mother came through is exactly how she was in life. Her number one priority was being the best mother that she could be and being a mother and protecting us. When we were younger and they were in the middle of the divorce, he did try to kidnap us. Are you gonna come over and speak? <laughs> oh, I wish I had a plug in my head so you could see what's going on. Let me explain. He's taken the step over here. Mm -hmm. She's gone, don't you take a step towards them. I'm like, 
I really don't want to get involved in this. And she's saying, and I know you're supposed to forgive and forget when you're over here, but I can't. And she's... It's an interesting situation with mum ranting at dad and dad just showing it to me. She still holds some form of resentment. There still needs to be closure. There still needs to be some form of healing there, which she can't do on this side. She has to do over there now. Okay, he's saying that he needs to say his bit. Okay. Okay. We need to hear it. Yes, we do. She's saying as long as he doesn't hurt you and as long as he doesn't upset you. Because he's done enough of that in your life. When uh, Lisa mentioned that my dad popped in and wanted to say something, I was a little nervous that my mother wouldn't allow Lisa to, to tune in to my dad. And I'm glad that my mother let him do that because I needed to hear what, my, what our father had to say. What was the age of four? Were you four? Yeah. When he, he went? Um, the first time they were about to separate. Right. I left too quickly. Oh, don't start rowing, you two. Your mum is blaming him. It's like this real soap opera scene going on. Did he go off with someone? Yes. yes. Because it's like she's blaming him for going off with someone, but he's blaming her for actually not showing him any affection and turning away from him. Well, yeah. we could see that. Yeah. And he's sorry for not trying to make amends. He's, so he's apologizing for ma not making amends. He's saying, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I wanted to forgive him and I wanted to get that taken care of. So I, so I was real relieved that he came through. Now you've had your time, it's time to go. <laughs> Is what she's saying to him. That's her. Yeah. It's my time now with my girls. And she wants, she's just saying, I want you to forgive me. And I understand, I understand why you did what you did. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh -huh. I had been taking care of my mother for about four years until it got to the point that I, I couldn't do it anymore. I had to put her in a assisted living facility. And from that point to the point that she died, she declined rapidly. And she doesn't want you to feel guilty. She really does not want you to feel guilty. Because she's saying she knows how hard it was for you. I needed to hear my mother say that she understood why we did what we did. We didn't want her to feel like we, we gave, up, on gave her. up and just forgot about her because she was old and sick. I'm so proud of you both. Do you have any other questions? It's a bit overwhelming, I know. Actually, all my questions have been answered. Good. And more than I have hoped. I just want her to know that I'm not angry with her, and I know she loved me. She's saying I love you both. Thank you. There you are. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How do you feel? I feel everything that and more that I was hoping for. She allowed me to feel peace that I haven't felt in some time now. And I just feel, I actually wanted to have closure with my father, because that's been an open wound for a long time, so I was happy about that, but I was really happy that my mother was here with us, because we needed that. It was amazing. Yeah, it was totally more than I would have ever hoped for. It surprised me that so much came out that, that is is accurate. I mean, basically all of it. Just wanted to thank you. Something. It's oh. very little. We appreciate your time very much, and yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. Oh, big hugs. I felt so close to the girls, and whether that is because I was projecting across the mother's love, I don't know. But I just think the girls went away healed is the way I have to put it. I really feel that they got the closure, the understanding, um, just I think they, they got everything they needed out of that reading. Bye. Bye.